Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us here on Times Now. This is the newspaper show and I'm Hina Gambhi. Let's get started and tell you what's making headlines as far as the Times of India this Monday morning is concerned. And the big story that the Times of India today morning is leading with is about coronavirus. Uh, India's Home Minister Amit Shah has tested positive for COVID-19. That's the lead story on the front page of the Times of India this morning. He's admitted to Medanta Hospital in Gurgaon and Cabinet Mantris maintain six-foot distance. That's what the government has said. Home Minister Minister's health fine. Amit Shah has diabetes, a comorbidity known to raise risk of complications of COVID-19 patients. Home Secretary A.K. Bhalla has decided to get himself tested and Junior Environment Minister Babul Supriyo has isolated himself because he had recently met Amit Shah, the Home Minister. In fact, he had put out a tweet yesterday, the Home Minister, and he said that my health is fine, but I am being hospitalized on doctor's advice. Request all of you who came in contact with me recently to isolate yourself and get yourself tested. Apart from this, uh, Karnataka's Chief Minister B.S. Yadurapa has also got hospitalized with COVID and Tamil Nadu's governor as well have tested positive for coronavirus. UP Minister meanwhile dies of COVID-19. BJP Chief is also positive. Uh, UP Technical Education Minister Kamal Rani Varun died of COVID-19 on Sunday. She is the first serving cabinet member of any state and the fourth sitting legislator in India to succumb to the virus. UP BJP Chief Swatantrita Dev Singh has tested positive. So that's a about COVID-19. In fact, it was uh, the deadliest week as far as COVID-19 is concerned. 3.7 lakh cases were reported in just one week with 5,345 deaths as well. Another important story is that the government has now eased quarantine rules for international flyers. From 8th of August onwards, people flying into India can seek exemption from institutional quarantine if they come with a corona negative report. That's a new uh, update that has come in and very, very important information for those coming from outside the country. It says the travelers coming to India with a COVID negative report will not have to go into any kind of an institutional quarantine provided the COVID test was done within 96 hours of taking the flight. Those travelling for compelling reasons like death in family, illness, etc. can seek 14-day home quarantine instead of mandatory 7-day institutional quarantine. So some changes have been made here. Apart from this, government has got plans uh, for personal health IDs, e-records for citizens. Prime Minister Modi likely to announce it on 15th of August. Prime Minister Modi is likely to announce the National Digital Health Mission on uh, 15th of August, which has been envisaged as a complete digital health ecosystem with personal health IDs for every Indian digitization of health records as well as registry of doctors and health facilities across the country. Then uh, there is an update uh, as far as uh, Chinese companies, Chinese Chinese apps are concerned which were banned by India. App companies quizzed on data sharing and political ties. Companies running recently banned Chinese apps have been served a questionnaire with around 80 queries seeking information such as whether owners are associated with any political party or not and if the firm is required to share the data under the China's law. Then India made a renewed push for China to complete troop disengagement at Pangong So and Gogra areas as well as pull back from the Depsang Plains in eastern Ladakh during the top level military attack talks that happened on Sunday. There's an update on migrants as well. Two third of migrants are back in cities or want to return back, uh, return back to their uh, places of work. Amid falling rates, bank FD inflows have almost doubled. Sunni board has got five-acre plot for mosque ahead of the Bhumi Poojan for Ram Mandir in Ayodhya on 5th of August. DM Anuj Kumar Jha handed over to the Sunni Waqf board a five-acre plot of land in Faizabad's Dhanipur village in lieu of the Babri Masjid property as was being ordered by the Supreme Court. Then IPL final on a Tuesday, November 10 in a break from tradition. This year's uh, IPL final in UAE will be held on a Tuesday. All games will start at 7.30pm Indian Standard Time. All teams will be told to fly to UAE on 20th of August. Then fixing cloud over Goan football. Goa's football team is under lens as six matches played over a month in Goa. Professional league have been identified for suspicious betting patterns indicative of match manipulation. Then Delhi's own Bravery Award. De award. Delhi government has planned to constitute a state level Bravery Award for common citizens. There are plans to have around 10 awards that will carry a cash award as well. Couple of more interesting stories in the front page only. Microsoft halts its bid to buy US operations of China based TikTok after Trump vows to ban app that has 80 million monthly users in the US. There are 17.8 million COVID cases across the world. 6,79,500 have lost their lives across the world because of COVID-19. US authorities 
authorities hope by late next month to have draft guidance on how to ration initial doses once a coronavirus vaccine is finalized. Australia's second most popular state of Victoria has declared a state of disaster and it imposes night curfew for Melbourne as part of its harshest COVID curbs because of a surge in numbers there. Lastly, on the front page, there's an update about Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation. Mahatma Gandhi said to be the first ethnic minority face on British currency as UK plans to celebrate achievements of BAME, that is black, Asian and minority ethnic individuals. So that's about the front page as far as the Times of India this morning is concerned. Let's now move on and see what's there as far as the Navbharat Times today is concerned. And here is the first news. वो होम मिनिस्टर अमित शाह से जुड़ी हुई है शाह ने ट्वीट कर बताया मुझे कोरोना मेदांता में भर्ती हैं और साथ ही तमिलनाडु के गवर्नर और यूपी बीजेपी के प्रमुख भी जो हैं वो कोविड पॉजिटिव पाए गए हैं और साथ ही आप देख सकते हैं कि अमित शाह ये जो तस्वीर है अमित शाह बुधवार को केंद्रीय कैबिनेट मीटिंग में भी शामिल हुए थे केंद्रीय गृह मंत्री अमित शाह के सभी सरकारी और गैर सरकारी स्टाफ की अब जांच होने वाली है शनिवार को दिल्ली में लोकमान्य तिलक की पुण्यतिथि पर गोष्ठी भी में भी पहुंचे थे पांच अगस्त को राम मंदिर भूमि कार्यक्रम में शामिल होना था पर अब वहां पर वो नहीं जा सकेंगे कैबिनेट मीटिंग में शामिल हुए थे सरकार ने कहा सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग का पूरी तरह से पालन हुआ तो ये तस्वीर भी आप देख सकते हैं किस तरह से सबने मास्क भी लगा रखे हैं और साथ ही सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग भी पूरी मेंटेन है देश में केस अठारह लाख के पार हो चुके हैं मौत मौतें जो है वो अड़तीस हजार के पार हो गई हैं यूपी की कैबिनेट मंत्री की कोरोना से मौत हो चुकी है अमिताभ बच्चन की बात करें तो वो घर पहुंच गए हैं लेकिन उनके बेटे अभिषेक बच्चन जो एक्टर हैं वो अभी भी हॉस्पिटल में कोरोना से रिकवर कर रहे हैं आज अयोध्या में भूमि पूजन का श्री गणेश कल राम अर्चना और इस तरह से तैयारियां की जा रही हैं और साथ ही भारत ने चीन से कहा पीछे हटो जहां पांच मई से पहले थे और इसके अलावा दोस्त का सिम इस्तेमाल कर रहे थे सुशांत ये सुशांत सिंह राजपूत का केस अपडेट है अस्पताल से घर पहुंची सोनिया कांग्रेस की जो प्रेसिडेंट हैं सोनिया गांधी उन्हें रविवार दोपहर एक बजे सर गंगाराम अस्पताल से छुट्टी मिल गई अस्पताल के मुताबिक तिहत्तर वर्षीय सोनिया रूटीन टेस्ट और चेकअप के लिए 30 जुलाई की शाम को यहाँ पर भर्ती हुई थी राहुल सक्रियता बढ़ाएं ऐसा कहना है सीनियर कांग्रेस लीडर दिग्विजय सिंह का और कानपुर में मर्डर की सी जांच ये भी एक बड़ी खबर है यूपी रोडवेज में आज महिलाओं को फ्री सफर दिया जाएगा क्योंकि आज रक्षाबंधन है आईपीएल 19 सितंबर से शुरू होगा मैच शाम साढ़े सात बजे शुरू होंगे राजस्थान न्यायिक सेवा में गुर्जरों को पांच परसेंट का कोटा दिया जाएगा और आखिरी में सीए के नियम बनाने के लिए तीन महीने का और वक्त जो है आ, मांगा है सो दैट्स अबाउट द लेटेस्ट एज पर नव भारत टाइम्स दिस मॉर्निंग इज कंसर्न लेट्स वॉट्स देयर इन द पिंक पेपर दिस मॉर्निंग द इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स न्यूज अबाउट द वर्ल्ड ऑफ बिजनेस एंड इकोनॉमी and here the big story that uh, the economic times is leading with is that licenses likely for furniture toys and sports gear import bid to encourage local production government may also raise duties for certain products to make imports costlier so it's more about vocal for local make in india that's the push coming from the center side state dictates put brakes on recovery drive in the month of july experts seek another stimulus to keep the demand on track improvement seen in auto sector freight and jobs but mobility indicators showed mute activity and these were the key indicators uh, to 87422 crore was the gst mop up that was lower than the month of june exports till 26th of july were 87.5% of july last year demand under manrega falls 31% compared with the month of june and uh, apart from this uh, what's losing steam is uh, the economic revival according to the economic times because mixed economic revival was seen in july sectors seen uh, such as uh, exports auto freight looking up tepid gst collection and retail activity retaining growth uh, bringing back jobs key challenges covid cases on the rise peak is yet to come so there is concern as far as the recovery of economic activity is concerned there's an interview with the uh, union telecom and it minister ravi shankar prasad who said that mega investments by global technology giants prove india's attractiveness he also said that apple and samsung are coming in a very big way whether it is google or and facebook or whether a manufacturing giant all are eyeing india covid slowdown has not hit india's potential bankers express concerns over rbi governance paper right to regulator seeking a review rbi may slash repo rate that reverse repo rate that's another important update rbi may not change policy repo rate but could cut reverse repo to nudge banks to lend more this week rbi policy is also there industry captains discuss covid impact on consumer behavior uh, chiefs of key companies confident of india story expect focus on hygiene and immunity 
security as well as digitization to continue uh, apart from this airlines may not refund 3000 crore to passenger now people who were issued credit shells against cancel flight tickets may have to hold on to them longer as airlines may not refund about 3000 crore rupees that's what mihir mishra has reported lastly tata's provide fund support to air asia and vistara uh, tata group is raising debt funds for air asia india and has infused equity into vistara airline that's what Anirban Chaudhary has reported. Let's now move on and be more city specific and see what's there as far as the Delhi edition of the Times of India this morning is concerned. Uh, my colleague Parbina joining us on the broadcast this Monday morning. Parbina, good morning. At 15, Sunday toll was lowest in about two and a half months. Uh, total uh, was 4,000 as far as uh, Delhi's death toll is concerned. Situation seems to be getting better now. Okay, we'll try and reconnect with Parveena in just a bit, uh, but that's the big story and a very uh, important story coming in. Delhi's COVID-19 death toll has crossed the 4,000 mark on Sunday, while the number of deaths that were reported due to the viral infection the last 24 hours was 15, one of the lowest perhaps that we have seen in the last two and a half months. The capital reported 961 new cases on Sunday, while 1,186 patients recovered in the last 24 hours. Situation in Delhi is definitely much better than many other parts of the country deaths in delhi have come down to 15 less than 1000 cases are there let's all keep working hard to ensure that the downward trend continues this is what chief minister arvind kejriwal has said let's see if we have parbina back with us Okay. Uh, another important story, hunger competes with virus as budget hotels fight for survival. Industry on the brink as overheads take a toll. Uh, hotel industry is tr still uh, struggling at this point in time. One of the worst hit sectors in our country due to coronavirus. Parbina, my colleague, is now back with us. Parbina, as far as the uh, fatality rate is concerned, uh, Delhi's condition has got much better. as far as fighting this virus is concerned. We have seen how the numbers have gone up and again how the numbers are coming down. As far as uh, you know, active cases are concerned, it has drastically calmed down. Even as far as death rate is concerned, it has come uh, really down. As far as availability of uh, beds in uh, you know uh, COVID centers are concerned, it is much more because most of them uh, are doing a home isolation, are also with mild symptoms are able to recover uh, with community help or with uh, district help whatever required and that is helping the state uh, to recuperate uh, from the uh, given uh, from the situation which we have seen in the past uh, at a time when we have seen that there were 3,000 right. 3, uh, active case uh, uh, in 24 hours today we are seeing less than 100 active case uh, in 24 hours and that's a big relief for the state and for the citizens of Delhi right. at this given point of time all Having right I appreciate you joining us with all of those details. We have to now move on uh, because uh, there's a big update coming at this point in time and this is related to Sushant Singh Rajput's death probe. We uh, told you that how a turf war has started between Mumbai and Patna police over probing Sushant's death. It is Raksha Bandhan today and uh, uh, Sushant's sister has written an emotional letter for Sushant Singh Rajput. My colleague Sharon joining us on the broadcast this morning. Sharon, give us more details. Well, Hina, uh, a very emotional, uh, the sister, uh, the elder sister of Shushan Singh Rajput, uh, uh, Rani Singh, has penned down a very emotional note on uh, the occasion of Raksha Bandhan, uh, where she has, in fact, mentioned a lot of uh, things about Shushan Singh Rajput and even ended uh, by saying that uh, we have learned throughout our childhood, we have learned things together. So how will I learn to live without you? So a very emotional note uh, by a sister on Raksha Bandhan uh, for Shushan Singh Rajput has uh, uh, written and uh, this is the elder sister. Another sister, Shweta, has in fact uh, uh, took to Twitter a day back and in fact asked uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi uh, to in fact scan all the, uh, the scan through all the evidences and investigation and to ensure that no evidence is tampered with. Right. So clearly the family is still struggling. Uh, they are not come in terms with the whole uh, situation and uh, that is why they are, they want justice is what uh, the sisters have been uh, throughout has been saying and right. it's 
a very emotional note that has been written by the elder sister of uh, uh, Shushan Singh Rajput and they have been seeking justice uh, but we are seeing that the kind of uh, political blame game that is happening we are seeing how uh, the uh, uh, Bihar police who have in fact reached Maharashtra at this point has right. been quarantined by uh, the BMC so there is in fact war of words between both the police uh, so of course we have to see how it turns out but this is an emotional note that has been written by the sister all on right. the occasion Sharon, of Raksha Bandhan today moment for joining us with all of those details in fact that's also an important story today morning as far as the Mumbai edition of the Times of India is concerned and it has reported that uh, as far as Sushant Singh Rajput's case is concerned Bihar IPS officer in is in the city uh, for investigation but has been told to be in quarantine by for uh, about 14 days by the BMC and uh, apart from this another important update is about uh, Big B Amitabh Bachchan who's back home after 21 days in the hospital Arunil my colleague joining us on the broadcast this morning Arunil Abhishek Bachchan yet to be discharged what do we know about his condition Oh, well, that's what Abhishek Bachchan, the son of Amitabh Bachchan, uh, tweeted saying that uh, my father who was in the hospital because of uh, co coronavirus, he has, his recent tests have come out negative and Amitabh Bachchan was discharged from the Nanavati hospital. He is at present uh, self-isolating in his uh, Jalsa home and uh, yes, it has been three weeks and uh, uh, Amitabh Bachchan was, re uh, was uh, repeatedly tweeting about his health, informing his fans about his health and the prayers of millions of uh, fans of uh, Mr. Bachchan have been answered now uh, that he has reached his home, he has been treated. The daughter, uh, basically the sister-in-law of Amitabh Bachchan, uh, Aishwarya Rai Bachchan was uh, uh, discharged earlier in, was only, last week only she was discharged right. after getting treated. Whereas Aradhyay Bachchan, uh, who was basically the daughter of uh, Abhishek and Aishwarya, they have also been discharged. The uh, uh, we, uh, we get to know that Abhishek Bachchan continues to remain uh, in the hospital uh, getting right. treated. All right. Thank you very much, Arunil, for the moment, for joining us with all of those details. Let's now move on and see what's there as far as the Bengaluru edition of the Times of India is concerned. Here also there's an update on COVID-19. Uh, in Karnataka, the recoveries have crossed 50,000 mark. That's one update. Then infection source is uh, unknown for over 65,000 uh, cases as far as uh, Karnataka is concerned. Experts say more tests and isolation are the way forward. Nearly 22,000 discharges were reported in just last one week. So while the cases are rising, the number of those who are recovering seems to be increasing as well. Only 50,000 have benefited from Atmanirbhar scheme in the month of July. That's another update. Uh, year in class first to ninth exams may be cancelled for state board schools uh, that is also there students to earn 19,000 uh, will be trained today Deepak Bupanna my colleague is joining us on the broadcast Deepak good morning uh, the chief minister of Karnataka has also tested positive he is currently in Manipal hospital what more do we know about his condition well, not too many details that, that are coming out as far as, you know, any, there, whether there's been any change from the last update that we received from Manibal Hospital, who said that he's stable, there's no reason to worry, and officially they're saying he's asymptomatic. So it's just as a precautionary measure that he's been right now, uh, you know, shifted to the hospital. Like you mentioned, the Manipal Hospital in Old Airport Road is where uh, right now he is. Uh, we are told that they're closely observing, uh, uh, you know, uh, his health at this point in time, especially considering his age. Now, in the, uh, we should understand, uh, it was very recently that a couple of his other cabinet colleagues, C.T. Ravi, uh, B.C. Patel, and also Anand Singh, have also tested positive. So, we really have to wait and watch, uh, you know, how uh, it progresses as far as his health. Because what we are expecting him probably if he continues to remain asymptomatic, so he will probably be shifted back. But of course, if he develops symptoms, uh, then he will have to continue to remain hospitalized. All right. Thank you very much, uh, Deepak, for the moment, for joining us with all of those details. Let's now move on and see what's there as far as the Chennai edition of the Times of India is concerned. Tamil Nadu, we know, is the second worst affected state in the country after Maharashtra. And here also the number of cases are rising quite fast. And uh, here an update is about Tamil Nadu's governor who has also tested positive for COVID-19. So yesterday we saw three, uh, uh, in fact, political leaders, the Home Minister uh, Amit Shah, Kerala, Karnataka Chief Minister B.S. Yedurappa and Tamil Nadu's governor also testing positive for COVID-19. Shabir joining us on the broadcast this morning. For more, Shabir, uh, give us more details. Uh, what is the uh, latest health update? Well, the governor was uh, taken uh, to a private hospital in Chennai and after, uh, you know, uh, the doctors uh, uh, looked at his case, uh, they found that he is asymptomatic uh, and uh, with mild infection. 
and uh, they have advised that the governor should stay under home isolation so he will be uh, he is back at raj bhavan now and he he was already under uh, isolation after uh, the, you know uh, per, per security personnel and various other staff members working at uh, the raj bhavan tested positive at least 80 security personnel both uh, state security as well as uh, the central security forces uh, those members tested positive and right. uh, uh, staff members working at uh, the raj bhavan have also tested positive so there is a complete sanitization process that is taking place at the raj bhavan and uh, more right. and more people are being uh, at uh, the, you know their samples are being collected collected and they are also being tested for covid-19 all right thank you very much abir for the moment for joining us with those details moving on now to the kolkata edition of the times of india on the front page the big story is that uh, uh, doctors call is going to be final in covid patients admission as well as release a panel on private hospitals moves to unlock beds that's one apart from this plasma therapy trial at belia ghata id hospital shows promising results tamal saha my colleague joining us on the broadcast this morning tamal good morning uh, city may get dakshineshwar metro as puja gift Well that's right and it's quite exciting and information for the city and also for the state of West Bengal we have to understand that metro rail and the ongoing construction work had been at the heart of a political battle too we we know as a matter of fact that this railway this Kolkata metro railway route was sanctioned when Mamata Banerjee was the railway minister back in 2010 2011 however it has taken this long for the for the work to continue because there had been several log jams with regards to land acquisition for which the state government claims that their contribution had not been recognized by the indian railways why because there is politics once again and let's not discount the fact that in 2021 the all important elections are also there where bjp and trinamool congress would be fighting it out all out so yes uh, the the uh, metro railway services uh, till the kineshwar keeping the politics aside could be a good boom for tourism for uh, pilgrimage tourism for the city for the state people are excited about it only time would say as whether that too gets uh, mired in controversy and political right. appropriation tussle all right thank you very much uh, tamal for the moment for joining us with all of those details let's now see what's making headlines as far as uh, uh, times global is concerned then trump to act on chinese companies soon this is what mike pompeo has said on tiktok uh, treasury secretary says that it must be sold or blocked in the us microsoft and bydance put tiktok sale talks on hold this is what a report has suggested now uk to mint gandhi coin but not all pios are happy with this choice british lawmaker arrested for rape uh, out on bail according to reports then tesla ceo elon musk has said that pyramids built by aliens egypt now invites him for a visit egypt's minister of international cooperation has invited elon musk to see the pyramids of giza for himself after he claimed the landmark was actually built by aliens and lastly china sends team to hong kong for virus testing Let's now move on and see what's there as far as the world of sports is concerned. My colleague Karishma joining us on the broadcast this morning. Karishma, good morning. Uh what is it that you have for us today? Well, good morning, Hina. What we have for our viewers from the Times of India today is uh, that IPL has been uh, given a go ahead. The green signal from uh, you know the IPL governing council. We are being told that the approval from the Indian government is going to be coming in a few days uh, from now. But everything is in place. The tournament starts on the 19th of September, and it will go on uh, till uh, uh, you know the tournament will go on till the 10th of November, and a host of other uh, standard operating procedures will be. decided upon uh, in the coming few days there is going to be a franchisee uh, meeting on wednesday in which all queries of the franchisees will be uh, answered so it is going to be an interesting week as far as ipl is concerned and all uh, cricket fans will be looking forward to this live cricketing action of 53 days from the 19th of september to the 10th of november hina all right karishma appreciate you joining us with all of those details let's also quickly see what's there as far as the delhi times is concerned this morning it says in delhi on rakhi celeb say pandemic allowed them to bond with their siblings and uh, then uh, big b test covid negative abhishek still covid positive babul supriyo in isolation as amit shah has tested positive he had met amit shah a few days back shraddha keeps a watch on her brothers as if she's the eldest of us all this is what her brother has said more you can find on this page with this it's a wrap thank you very much for staying with us here on the newspaper show